Hello everyone, this is Frank DeBora. Today is November the 11th, 2016. A few days ago, I put up a post. I wrote a letter to President-elect Donald Trump. And in that letter, I told Donald some of the things that he was going to be facing. One of the reasons why I did this is because Donald Trump has recently received Jesus Christ as Lord. You'll see this if you do a Google search with Dr. James Dobson focus on the family. And as a new Christian, he may not know some of the things that are in the Bible concerning the future. In other words, fulfilling Bible prophecy. Now, in my letter to Donald Trump, one of the things that I mentioned to him, as you'll see down below when I put down a note from Frank, is the building of the third temple. And I told him some of the things that you should be looking for, some of the things that you should stay away from, uh, in relation to the Bible and because you could look like a good guy and you could look like a bad guy right away and in that note I talked about that Jerusalem is going to be a major part in fulfilling Bible prophecy in the last days and get ready for the Jewish people because they're going to want you to build a temple and two days later as being the 11th of November we got news that this is what they're asking President-elect Donald Trump and Vladimir Putin of Russia to do, to rebuild the Third Temple. We know that it's going to be rebuilt because this is what Jesus shows us in the Word. And since everything else is happening around us, fulfilling prophecy in these last days, we know that the rebuilding of this temple isn't that far off. So listen to this article that just came out about Jerusalem, their Sanhedrin that was reestablished a few years ago. And of course, now they have a high priest of which they haven't had either one in almost 2,000 years. And since they're back again, and now there's a great push over these last couple of years to rebuild the temple, and now the call to actually do this through these leaders, you see that we're very, very close to having this third temple built. Now, if you haven't read what I wrote a few days ago, please go over to my site. Just look at this post right here. You'll see it. It says, November the 9th, Prophecy News Today, Part 1. Donald Trump elected what Trump needs to know. And this had to do with the Smart Taylor prophecy. So here it is, the breaking Israel news. Been exclusive. Sanhedrin asked Putin and Trump to build Third Temple in Jerusalem. The story broke actually on November the 10th of 2016. The nascent Sanhedrin is calling on Russian President Vladimir Putin and U.S. President-elect Donald Trump to join forces and fulfill their biblically mandated roles by rebuilding the Jewish Temple in Jerusalem. Rabbi Hillel Wise, spokesman for the Sanhedrin, contacted Breaking Israel News to announce that the election of Trump, who has promised to recognize Jerusalem as the capital of Israel, coupled with Putin's expressed desire for the temple to be rebuilt, prompted the Jewish court to send a letter offering the two the opportunity to act as modern-day Cyrus figures, non-Jewish kings who recognize the importance of Israel and the temple. Cyrus, the great king of Persia, in the 6th century BCE, announced in the first year of his reign that he was prompted by God to make a decree that the temple in Jerusalem should be rebuilt. And below you see in Ezra chapter 1 verse 2 where they cite this proclamation. The article goes on, Cyrus sent the Jews under his rule back to Israel with a considerable sum of money with which to rebuild the temple. The Sanhedrin plans to call on the two world leaders to take up this ancient biblical decree and support the Jewish people in their holy mission. Rabbi Weiss explained that the U.S. elections have made the eternal Jewish dream a very real possibility. We are poised to rebuild the temple. The political conditions today in which the two most important national leaders in the world support the Jewish right to Jerusalem as their spiritual inheritance is historically unprecedented, Rabbi Weiss told 
breaking Israel news. The Sanhedrin's letter notes that Trump's upset victory was due to his support of Jerusalem and reminds Trump of his campaign promise to move the U.S. Embassy from Tel Aviv to Jerusalem, effectively recognizing the city as the capital of Israel. The Jewish Embassy Act, passed in Congress in 1995, initiated the moving of the embassy, but has been vetoed since every American president since. The Sanhedrin calls on Trump to withhold the veto after he takes office. Now that you heard the news, you understand why I wrote that letter to Donald Trump. I pray that he pays attention to what the word says and align himself with the word because as I said earlier in this video he could play a good part or a bad part and of course one of the first things that will happen as I wrote a couple days ago is if he helps them build this temple then people around the world who know the prophecy will begin to call him the Antichrist because we know that this building this temple. The Antichrist will go into this temple and three and a half years after it's built and begin his a quest to mark everybody. And of course, if Donald associates himself with this, obviously people will think that he's the Antichrist and begin to call him so. So he needs to know what the prophecies have to say and I give him a little bit of advice in those letters. So I recommend you go back and read that post two days ago that I put up. But in any case, what I told you two days ago is now in the news and they're requesting this, so we need to pay attention to this very, very closely. Keep in mind, it's not if the temple will be built, it's when it will be built and who will allow it to be built. 